Good morning. It is 4.30 in the morning. Whoop. Bright and early. Appreciate y'all watching. It is uh, a Monday morning and I'm heading to Cedar Key. Captain Jimbo Keith, we are going for redfish number one, trout number two, or triple tail number two. Triple tail is my favorite fish in shore. So maybe we'll put trout number three, triple tail number one, redfish number two. Anyways, um, and possibly snook. So looking at having a great day. Captain Jimbo Keith, appreciate y'all watching. Got a road trip ahead of me, and uh, we're gonna hit the road. But again, click on this, like this, subscribe this, comment, all that fun stuff. It takes two seconds. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And at the end of the day, if this all works out, I'm gonna share with you the best redfish recipe of all time. And it takes like two seconds. Cleaning the fish is easy, preparing the fish is easy. And I guarantee it's gonna be delicious. So appreciate y'all watching. See you in a minute. Bye. Sounds good for the camera, huh? Casking estuary rod, the 7.6, the casking braid, and the Sharky 3 reel. And the uh, 3000 reel, I believe. It's a fat one, too, man. A healthy fish. Ooh. He swallowed it. He choked it. Boom! This fish. Cat, was Jim, what was that, fifth cast? This fish was not getting off. Like, I gotta wow. be careful for where I stick my hands at in his mouth. Because that lure is gone. There's a skitter walk <laughs> deep down in there. Can you even see it? <laughs> Hard. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at that. Boom. Fifth cast. Bam. Number five here in Grutton. Got him. Does that mean a male? I don't even know what that means with the yeah. redfish. Yeah, it could be male or female. It could be a male or female. So what we got here, 25 inch redfish, hey, fat, spotless, spotless a red, na naked red, what we call that, naked red, fifth cast, sixth cast, yeah, something, something like that, saw called it, move. saw the wake, saw the move, man called his cast, that's what we came for right here, check that out, look at that, gosh, that's the definition <laughs> of chart, I gotta get a picture of that, oh, free Yankee cow. that is, uh, how do you say, choker, choked it, that is, uh, that is choked out, man, I don't even think he was coming he out. I don't think he's he could not get off even, if he wanted to. He's not even hardly hooked. That would have been a heartbreaker. Swallowed it like that and it comes off. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You see when we're live. 26 and 3 quarters. Oh, man. Turn to a fish, fish. cat. Look at that. Fatty, too. Boom. That would have been after. perfect. Turn to fish. Now, this fish, stay tuned. I'm going to show you, well, cleaning this fish is easy because we're doing oh, it on yeah. the half shell. Easy, but easy. But it's going to be, we're going to show you the easiest, best redfish recipe ever. Stay tuned for that. Captain Jimbo, like I said, sun just, look at this, sun just peaked. Look at that, yeah, look at that. that. Ooh. Here it is, day starter, 26 and a half inches, choke the skitter walk, Captain Jimbo, perfect light, look at that, everything, slick, calm. My favorite way to catch redfish on top water because not only do they, they can't eat it from below. So, Cap, what do they do? Come from the top. Eat that sucker. Crush it. So 26 and a half inches, probably right around eight Perfect. pounds. Yeah. Perfect All tournament right. fish. And uh, fish. we're just getting started right off the yeah. bat.
hooked up. Finally got to redeem myself <laughs> right here. If we can keep him on. Nets out. We're gonna go for a double header. Cause that one's got some that one's got some shoulders. I don't think that one's staying in the slot. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, it looked a little Hell. goldish. Why he just ate it right there? That was a very aggressive eat. Yeah, it was. We might have a snook here, folks. Look for the. Yeah. Oh, I don't care. I'll hop There's down to net yeah, it when we get close. Little, this may be. This is a good fish. It'll be a little bit. Yeah. Right. We'll go. go way over your head. This one. Yep. Go ahead. We're gonna try for a double header, but as that one gets closer, but this one is. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, if you want to set the trap, there you go. I see you working, Zach. That's all we had to do was get Zach to pick up a rod. <laughs> well, that was instant, too. I'm with you. I don't know if that's more snooky. I don't know if it's a red. If it's a red, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a 30 plus inch red. And they're here. What was in that school the other day? all big enough. Oh yeah. Good guy. We still got a little one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a big red. Yeah, that's a big red. This might be our biggest topwater. There we go. Oh, good night. Yeah. That's a good one. Tell you what, I'm gonna grab this GoPro and get him. On the top. Yes, sir, Captain. Right Look so at that. the shoulders Boom. on that beast <laughs> on the top. We knew it was she big with the it. blow up. Smoked yeah, it. she won't coming out. Either. Well, I guess a couple of them pulled, but good night. Look at that That's down what the pipe. Key for. That's what we came for. That's it, man. The personal best on top water, close. Yeah, close to it. Really About close. 34 inches, yeah. swallowed the top water. Uh, didn't quite get the bite on camera because it happened in two seconds, but uh, unbelievable fish. That's why you come to Cedar Key. We'll take it. Look at the shoulders on this one. So we're gonna get her in the water. Actually, you can follow her in here, Zach, and get the release right here. Oh, she's about ready, too. Go, GoPro. Two for one. Yeah. Here you go. All right, so Captain Jim O'Keefe, awesome day. Five Good minutes stuff. in, yeah, perfect slot red, which we're gonna fillet here in a second. Big over slot red, then we got on the trout, two different types of trout. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're back and it's lunch. So, talking about lunch, let's fillet some fish. So first off, we're gonna do the redfish. Mm -hmm. um, I know you, he's filleted probably one million fish now in your a life. Pile of them. Pile. pile. So redfish, we're gonna do on the half shell. So we'll do that one first. The trout, there's a, there's a trick to cleaning trout that'll make it easy. I don't know if you do it this way, we're gonna talk about it. Mm -hmm. So, and then the sandies, I've never cleaned a sand trout, so, or silver yeah, yeah. trout. He's gonna show up, we're gonna learn together about the sand trout and uh, then later we'll talk about how we cook them. But first up, redfish. Get ready to watch this. 
This is this is the easiest way. Captain's gonna watch me. We'll see if he likes it or not. He may not right. like the way I do it. We're gonna learn. So here comes a redfish. Twenty-six I and a half. Watch That's right. Do it. That's right. So redfish on the half shell. To keep it simple. Just leave it on YouTube. What's that? Says, just leave it on YouTube. They do catch cook cook. So well, he's dead. There we are. Fish is dead. So we're gonna come right down here. Now redfish are known for, what are they known for, Captain? Big ribs. Big rib. They also have that, they're a little tough at the start. Yeah. You're gonna follow it right along this line. Captain just sharpened it. So I'm actually a lefty. I kind of go ambidextrous on this. We're going righty right now. Do it however you want to do it. No, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it this way, we're good. So. How about this, you do one side, I'll do the other. Okay. Faster. Well, he's gonna be faster, I guarantee it. <laughs> I already give him that. I already give him that, he's faster. So. On the half shell, this is literally it. We're just gonna cut this fish basically in half. Like you said, the big rib, I'm not even worried about that. I'm gonna follow the blade along. We're also gonna check his stomach contents. Mm -hmm. See what he's been eating. So sliding the bait or blade right along there. And then we're just gonna go all the way out. Guess what? Yeah. That's it. That right there. Now you can cut out the rib, but when, when I'm doing on the half shell, I like leaving the rib on there. Oh, Collects a little more Italian. Yeah. So I'm gonna soak this in Italian and uh, put some Tony's Creole seasoning on there. But that is literally it. And this oh, rib bone here, so we'll clean it up here, Zach, if you wanna follow it in. We'll kind of wash, wipe it down. So on redfish, Right here so right here i'm gonna cook it on the half shell and you can pan out a little bit zach get me in there so on the half shell means this is gonna be you don't have to do anything with it you literally throw this on the grill this will act as the plate and you put salt pepper butter i put italian on it and literally this is your bowl and i mean i'm 10, 10 minutes on the grill it's the easiest best recipe you will ever have for redfish some creoles on there some tony seasoning and then when you get ready to eat it, you can either cut this off, but the beauty of doing it this way, it comes off with a spatula. It just oh, yeah. comes, comes right, right off. off. So literally 10 minutes in there. You're not gonna eat this rib, obviously, but you can leave it all on there just like that. The easiest filet ever, the best recipe ever for redfish, redfish on the half shell. Get ready for this delicious piece of meat later today. Mm. Catch, cut, cook. Now captain's gonna do the other side. And then uh, we'll also check out the uh, what this fish trout. has been eating too. Yeah, yeah and we'll also look at the trout. So you got a little something in the belly right there. Let's see what he's got right here. Number one thing I find in redfish: crustaceans. What about you, Cap? Oh yeah, crabbies. Blue crab. Blue crab. One shrimp. There's no fish in there, people. Look at that shrimp. That is a perfect, perfect shrimp. Blue crabs. <laughs> you know, we didn't catch him on a shrimp either. Didn't catch him on a shrimp. Look at that. That is barely even digested. I mean, that shrimp right there. I can, I can almost eat that shrimp. Uh, you can eat it. <laughs> Look at that. One thing I do different on this when I clean one, I start the same spot Rob starts, but instead of going from there, Ooh. I give me a run down his backbone. And he's filleted. A lot more redfish than me, so and take I, him up on this. And I kind of cut it backwards that way. Ah, I can find his top of his back he's getting more down. meat. Yep. And I don't have to cut through the rib cage quite so bad. And he did that in 10 seconds. Done. So, what's cool about that, like you said, if you look side to side with, yep. with which had more meat on it, I definitely lost a little bit in there. His is. There. Perfect to wow. it. So, you know, a little bit more meat. That's a, th I mean, but look at the size of the fillet. Nothing wrong with that. We'll wash it off. So, again, two techniques on cleaning a redfish. I'm probably going to switch based on that. That's a traditional way. Yep. Right down the line and then come through it. But he went off the top, the back of the redfish. And did you go against the grain? Uh, I just slide my knife blade in. Good sharp knife, imperative. When you put it in there, you just zip it. Instead of, once you zip your line, then you can just cut it like that and cut it right back. 
And the funny thing is the redfish have a reputation for being very hard to fillet and knife killers because of this outer, but use this to your advantage. Look at that beautiful gold. All right, so that's a redfish. 26 and a half. The circle of life continuing. Just like that. All right. Thank you all for watching. Great day with Captain Jibbo Keith. We've got the redfish. Like I said, one of the things I love to do is do a little fish bath, little ice, little water. And to me, it takes it's kind of like what I used to hear deer hunting. And the people used to love the uh, soaking the deer, do it a little bit with fish, but not too much. Cause if you get a red snapper or something like that, it gets a little too flaky. So these have been on ice for about two hours, icy water. So the next step for the most delicious, simplest redfish recipe you will ever have, Italian. Get in there tight. How's that look? A little delicious? Mm-hmm. Yummy, mm, yummy, yummy. And some Tony's. That's it. One, two. We're gonna get some salt and pepper in a minute. But this is all you have to do. You saw earlier how I filleted it. One whack. And then you saw the Filet Ninja, Jimbo Keith. One whack even quicker and smoother. But he's done it a couple thousand times. All right, so the Italian. This is, you can buy a whole bottle. This is not expensive. This is Wishbone from Walmart. $1.50? I don't know. But you're gonna get restaurant quality redfish that you'd be spending 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars on. You're doing all this for two bucks plus your cost of fishing. So you fill up this bag. And in the bag. Now for the bag of fish. Two redfish fillets. You ready? This is super complicated. Take the redfish fillet. Do -do -do. From one bag to the other. Rinse. Whoops. Repeat. Second redfish fillet. One bag to the other. That is literally it. I like to leave it in here a couple hours or if you only have 30 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it takes. So make sure the one key let's get all the air out of it. Now you can take it and now you can see. So get that Italian kind of all over the fillets. So that's it, two redfish fillets. Soak them in Italian again. 30 minutes if you've got it, two hours if you've got it. But it's just gonna soak up all that deliciousness. It is this simple. And then all I'm gonna do, so after this, is we're gonna salt and pepper these in butter while they're on the grill. And then some Tony's, and that's it. Maybe some little lime juice. But again, the simplest redfish recipe from start to beginning and the most delicious guarantee. Thank you for watching. Giddy up. Stuff everywhere. All right, now it's time to grill. The grill's hot. The fillets are ready. The Italian's been soaking. And uh, I'm gonna position you guys at home to watch the magic happen. Are you ready for this? Here it comes. We take the fillets. They've been marinating in there. Delicious Italian. It is this easy, you ready? It's gonna come out hot. Bro's gonna like those juices. Big redfish fillet one. Big redfish fillet two. I want to take this extra Italian. A little extra marination. I wish this was scratch -o vision so you guys could get a smell of that. Woo! Delicious. Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now there's really nothing else you have to do. You put it here, we're gonna do the salt and pepper. One, two. Put the butter. The lime, we're gonna let this cook for a little bit. This is literally it. Finish with some Tony's and close the grill top. Okay, so it's been on about five minutes. This one I like to open it up, 
and let's see what we've got there. It'll start flaking when it's done. It's real easy to see. Uh, when I like to do about five minutes, it's had the Italian soaking on there. Now I'm going to do the salt, the pepper, the butter, and the lime, or lemon juice, and Tony's. So uh, again, I wait about five minutes, let the Italian bake in. It's not going to be long, 10 to 15 minutes. These are fat, so maybe closer to 15 minutes, but get ready. Redfish on the half shell coming your way. Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead and put you guys right here. Look at that. All right, so we are getting close. I want to make this clear. I am not an expert chef. I don't claim to be. I actually keep it pretty simple, but this is so easy, so quick. I'm not going to get into sides. I'm not going to get into the palate and this and that. I just know this is awesome and easy and quick. That's it. So uh, again, don't come to me for uh, your super extravagant sides and uh, palate testers. I'm just here for the meat. I'm a meat man. So uh, here we go. Next step is the butter again. This is it. Butter and then as it flakes, you can kind of see it almost starting to flake there a little bit. Not quite there, but it's not far. So it'll literally see that start to flake there when I hit it. This is a big red. Oh yeah. One thing you must always have. Check that out. The fish and reel spatula. Tractor supply. Less than 10 bucks. If you fish, you need this. All right, drum roll. Sun setting, time, if you've been looking at your clock, Crocodile Dundee style, 15 minutes. It's usually about how long I like it, so we're gonna look at it now. You wanna keep that moisture in there, but you also want it flaking, so uh, come down with me and we're gonna check it out. See this moisture, the dripping right there, ooh, right there. But now it's starting to flake. That's starting to look, oh yeah. It's been about 15 minutes, and again, this is a big, right there, it's starting to crisp. Starting to flake, starting to butter. Get in my belly. It's about that time. So this is really cool. Watch this next step. When I pull this off of here, you're gonna see that it literally is, the skin side down is the key because it's gonna keep all that moisture in there. It's gonna act as a bowl. And then it's gonna just spatula right off. Just gonna cut like a hot knife through butter. All right, the fillets are in. And I'm going to bring this camera down real low, and you're going to see how easy these come right off. Literally, look at that, straight off. There's the skin, the perfect bowl, flavor keeper. Got sucked all that in there. Mm, 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 mm. Clean, easy, look at that. All right, here's the redfish finished. Taste tester number one, Lilla. Taste tester number two, Molly. These girls, how much do you like fish? Probably not a lot, right? They'll love it, but you don't hate it. Some of it. Yeah. So, they're gonna give it a taste test. Again, this is, to me, when you do redfish this way, it doesn't even taste like fish. It's kind of like a, what'd you call it? Well, you guys tell me. Take, take your bites and see okay. what you think. You like right there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Whatever piece you want in there. You can even grab it with your hand. It is flaked off just right. Yeah. You can smell that first. Get some. Mm. <laughs> you like it? What do you think it tastes like? Does it taste like fish? Not really. Not really. Mm. It's spicy. Mm. Spicy? Mm. No, mom's hot. Oh. Mom's. <laughs> it's spicy. Mm. 
Spicy? No, Molly's hot. Molly. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Molly. Molly's out. <laughs> it's spicy for Molly, but Lily really likes it. I haven't had a bite yet, so I'm just going to take it with my hand. <laughs> Molly's gone. I'm coming back. You're coming back. Mm. I have to get to Molly's good. I'm going to It almost tastes like a pork or... It does not taste fishy at all. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken. So, <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, we're still filming. All right, we're back. Molly's back. She got some water. Uh, it was a little too spicy for her, but it was really good. So she's going to tough it out. There we go. Round two. This fish was swimming approximately, I caught it literally 12 hours ago. So this was the fish on the top water, and we're eating it 12 hours later. It does not get any better, folks at home. If you like red fish, these two girls are not fish lovers, but they are loving this fish. And they can get, Lil's even had ice cream before this fish, and she's come back to the fish. So. Thank you for watching at home. Redfish on the half shell, my favorite way. I am not a professional chef. I don't know what size you want to eat with this. I'm eating meat and more meat. That's what I'm eating. Redfish with a side of redfish. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate everything you do for us. Little Molly, give the people at home a goodbye. And tell them, give them with your hands, what do you think of that fish? Two thumbs up? I cut it away. Two thumbs up. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you for watching. Thank you everybody for watching. Captain Jimbo Keith, Saltwater Assassin Fishing Charters, FishSeaterKey.com. Where can they find you, Captain? Website, Facebook at Saltwater Assassin Fishing Charters, or Captain Jimbo Keith, Instagram it's at Captain Jimbo Jr. Check it out. Catch, World Wide Web, man. Yeah, anywhere on the World Wide Web. <laughs> You're on the internet. The interwebs. You can find them.